you wonder why you feel drained. And it's because you are overperforming for somebody else. And then, this, and then we're always abandoning ourselves. Here it is. I'm sitting up here. I know I need to be going to bed. I know I need to be getting sleep. What is going on? I have ADHD. And what I've long learned um, through, through cognitive behavior therapy and just my own therapy that I go to with my actual counselor and therapist, um, you have to have a sleep routine when you have ADHD. And like we really do be, some of us really do require 10 to 12 hours of sleep a night at the bare minimum eight because that's another thing I've noticed like I'll be giving up on my sleep trying to be there for people and that's just like that's not good you know I'm not eating right I'm drinking more I'm you know smoking more and drinking more because I'm having all of this anxiety because I feel like you're judging me 24 7 or I'm not doing enough for you and then I'm also not and then I'm also failing myself so it's like I'm just walking on eggshells, pins and needles, and this is what's going on in my mind. Mind you, the other person may not know, may know, may not care. You don't know, but at the end of the day, you're only responsible for your behavior. You're not responsible for their behavior. Even though that person could be manipulating as hell, gaslighting, a liar, a user, abuser, or they could just simply not know and be completely oblivious and unaware. Or they can simply just not give a damn. Who knows? All of these things can be happening, but at the end of the day, you are not responsible for their behavior. You are only responsible for your behavior. So you got to check you, boo. I'm just, I had to check me. I had to pull back. Like, and then this was the last... This was the last straw for me because I noticed every time I sit back, I don't say nothing. I let shit slide. Things, you know, build up over time. I feel used. I feel taken advantage of. Um, I'm tired. My health is going down. My mental, my physical. I'm neglecting myself. I'm not able to show up for my family the way I want to show up for them. I'm not even being, I'm not even going to see my friends. I'm not even going and doing things for me like how I used to because I want to be for me personally, when I get in romantic setups, this is what happens. I want to be committed to that person. I want to love on that person. I want to be around that person. Meanwhile, y'all about to laugh. Y'all, because you know me, I don't, this, I really want y'all to understand. I'm transparent as hell. Like, that's why I just sit back like, so y'all about to laugh. Where's the relationship? What relationship are you even in? A lot of us people pleasers, codependents, we toxic. We red flags too, baby. We red flags, okay? We toxic too, okay? Because once again, why are you performing? Like, you're not in a relationship. You know, this isn't your boyfriend. This isn't your girlfriend. This isn't your boo. This isn't your bae. This isn't your husband. This isn't your wife. This isn't your significant other. This isn't your partner. This is somebody that you met off of a hookup app or you met, you know, at the bar, at the club, at church, whatever. Y'all don't have no title. Y'all not in a relationship. Y'all not committed. So why are you over here acting like this? You stressing yourself out. And if you know this is how you be showing up in romantic setups, I know that's how I be acting. Then, baby, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now. You need to be single. You need to be single and you really need to just enjoy being single and work on yourself because you don't want to be constantly getting into the same types of relationships with the same types of people going through the same types of cycles. That shit is draining. This is my second time doing this. <laughs> this is my second time. I can't blame nobody but me, okay? Like, so once again, I'm going to be single and I'm going to focus on me because that is just not it. And then, too, you got to remember, takers are going to be takers. 
it's benefiting them that you abandon yourself. It's benefiting them that you're willing to perform relationship uh, behaviors without a relationship. You're the one that looks like a clown, okay? You're the clown. You know that that meme where it's uh, it's Keith Sweat in the background and then the music pop, like right when it gets to the drop, it switches over to it the clown. That is me, man. Like, what are you doing? Like, you look stupid as hell. You are out here wiling out. What happened to going to the gym? You used to love going to gym. Now you're not going to the gym. You used to hang out with your friends. You used to work on special projects. One thing that I did, though, this time around, when I look at what I dealt with five years ago to now, I did not give up on... I did give up on myself. Don't get me wrong. I made a lot of mistakes. But in comparison, I was still being able to go and handle my business with my jobs, my side hustles, my part times. I made a commitment to my homies, my friends, my family that, hey, we're going to be doing events. We're going to be doing music. We're going to be doing music videos. We're going to be, you know, working on projects back to back. We're, I went gardening this year. I had an amazing crop harvest with my garden. Like, but there were other things that clearly I failed off on, right? Like I wasn't getting any sleep. I'm still just now, this weekend was probably like, the, the past few days have literally been the probably longest amount of times I've been really consecutively getting sleep. You know, um, I ate better this week. I actually was like, you know what? You used to cook a lot more last year before you met this person. Because I'm never like a child and it's on me. I'm over here chasing. Oh, I want, I'm a little lost puppy. Oh, look at me. I want to be with my, I want to be with my big dog. I want to be with my, I want to be with my, my golden doodle. I'm just like the puppy chasing after. And it's like, do you not have any sense of self-worth? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you look dumb. And that's the whole, like, sometimes you need to see that for yourself. Because then you're begging somebody to be with you. And they done spent all this time with you. They done got all of the benefits of being in a relationship with you without the title. No wonder they don't want to be with you. For what? They already getting the, the the treatment. You the one to look stupid. So I've been really stupid. I've I, Geo Fox, have been really stupid. But this is so different from five years ago though. Um and like this person again is not a bad person. Cause that's another thing too. We have to stop making it seem like when these things happen and they don't go, they don't work out how we want them to work out, that the other person is just this evil, horrible person. Because that's not the case in every situation. Because like in this situation, that is not the case. He's a very good guy. Obviously, why the hell else would I be sitting up here? I mean, yeah! like, I'm, a, I'm like on a whole fucking triathlon after this man's heart. And this man is like... <laughs> I'm just, but they just like, every time I would bring up, you know, like, what are we? What are we doing? What do you mean? Well, I mean, we're hanging out all the time. I mean, what do you want? You want a relationship? And then I'm like, well, that's what I thought we would be working towards is a relationship. I mean, I don't get how we're going to be in a talking stage for 14 months, but, but some people, that's what they prefer. That's what they like. That's what they do. I'm not that person though. So, I'm just now realizing, like, honey, you need to stop abandoning yourself. You need to put yourself first. You need to respect your own damn boundaries. You need to honor your own damn boundaries. You need to respect your own damn standards. You need to live up to your own damn standards. You need to require those standards. Those, And if you have these expectations, you need to have them for yourself. Because you know what? You're abandoning yourself. You're the one causing yourself not to get sleep. You're the one causing yourself to have all these health problems because of the stress that's being brought on by you looking like a fucking clown. <laughs> Anyways. And like, and you're getting mad. You're stressed out. You're mad. You don't like the way you're acting. 
then stop it. Get away from it. Get, get, get away from it. Ooh, ooh.